What's going on guys? This is United WWE coming at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about Paige and Lana and you guys would have seen this probably on Twitter over the last couple of days. These two have been going back and forth and it all started after Monday Night Raw which saw the Divas actually main event Raw. You know, that wasn't a match, it was a segment though. It was Paige and Charlotte and within that segment we saw Paige refer to Reed Flair, the deceased brother of Charlotte, as a quitter. You know, and this was really in bad taste guys. I don't think Paige and Charlotte needed this within the feud. You know, this is really it's probably the WWE writers. It was so sloppy. It did not need to be done. Uh, these two are exceptional athletes. You know, they did not need to include Reed Flair in this at all. And it looks like WWE did not make them phone calls to make sure that you know, the mother of Reed Flair and Ric Flair himself are, were happy with this because both of them have came out over the last couple of days and uh, you know, uh, viewed their opinions on this and they aren't, they aren't happy at the moment, guys, which is really uh, sad to see. Of course, uh, Reed Flair passing away a couple of years ago and you, know, you can see Charlotte really getting choked up during the segment. Uh, you know, it just it didn't need to be done, guys. You know, there's so many other areas they could have covered with the whole PCB thing. You know, um, the fact that Paige turned her back on Charlotte. You know, they were friends. You know, that was enough. They didn't need to bring Reed Flair into it. But it looks like Lana. You know, she was probably watching Raw. She picked up on what happened, and you know, the whole thing with Reed Flair. I think she she uh she saw this as another way of kind of going at uh Paige. Like, you know, this is another. You know, this reminded her of when she was supposedly bullied by Paige when NXT, you know, and uh, this was just, you know, I don't know why Lana did this, you know, she's out at the moment, she's injured, she's training to become an in-ring diva, and like, this is stupid, you know, Paige is a veteran within the wrestling business, she's been around a very long time, you know, she's been wrestling since she was about 14, you know, as they say, when you've been wrestling for over 10 years, you know, you're a veteran. You know, uh, I remember Chris Jericho referring to that on his podcast. You know, Paige is a veteran within the wrestling business. She's been around for a very long time. And uh, for someone like Lana, who is, like, paying her dues at the moment, this is this is not something that she should be doing. And it looks like it has backfired big time. Uh, a source within the WWE noted to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that officials aren't happy with Lana and they haven't been happy with her since the whole Rusev engagement came out. You know, that was all over TMZ. And uh, yeah, this looks like another really stupid move by Lana, who was really over before she got injured. You know, before she went away, um, I think she got injured before a live event. You know, she was uh, practicing in the ring. Uh, you know, uh, as she, as you know, she's learning to be an in-ring diva at the moment. So she was going through her paces in the ring. She fucked up her wrist, I think it was. So she's going to be out for a while. So this is just a really stupid move. I would not like to be Lana walking into the diva's dressing room after uh, calling Paige a bully, you know. Because a lot of divas have come out and defended Paige, saying it's simply not true. And uh, Paige is a lovely person and all this. And, like, I'm not slating Lana in any way, guys. Uh, you know, these, these rumors could be true. For all we know, Paige could have bullied Lana in NXT. But my problem with this is that she did it over social media. If you have a problem with Paige, go face-to-face -face with Paige and tell her. Or anyone else, you know. I just thought it was stupid to do it over social media. Uh, it looked like really looked like Lana was just trying to get herself into the storyline, but this was real life. You know, it, you know, it really pissed off Paige. It pissed off a lot of Paige fans, a lot of wrestling fans in general. It really annoyed me. I thought Lana should have kept her mouth shut. If she had a problem, as I say, go say it to Paige's face. I'd love to hear your uh, comments on this, guys. It's an interesting topic. Uh, if you want to check out the tweets between these two, make sure to check out both these divas uh, Twitter accounts. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.